Hello everyone, it is Agony333, and it's time for some more Narcosis. So yeah, last time we dealt with some crabs, we got into Compass 2, we had more hallucinations and crazy shit going on. And we entered this strange room that we're in now, right here. So yeah, let's commence more underwater horror. And we are still on the inside, and them fucking crabs are still on the outside, and as you can tell, this is a weird room. It's kind of like, uh, it actually reminds me of space, in a way. I mean, if you think about it, really, underwater is like... Kind of like space, you know? Yeah, it's like one of those weird circular rooms. But yeah, we need a passcode to get in here. So, I guess let's boost along and, uh... Try to find our way in this very bizarre, what the... Fucking shit is that? Uh, do you see this fucking crap, guys? There's like a gigantic, uh, human fuck up there. Whoa. Well, that is very fucking weird. That is incredibly fucking weird. I'm sorry, I'm kind of taken back because, yeah, and you can see our panel is going like haywire. Someone was playing, uh, darts with this, uh, little figurine of, uh, I wouldn't say us, but kind of looks like us a little bit, doesn't it? Hopefully it's not a voodoo doll or something. Here's a Rubik's Cube. We gotta find this passcode. I'm assuming it's in this circular room. Not entirely sure where, but it is somewhere, and something tells me we're not gonna be microwaving burritos right now. When things go wrong, don't go with them. Well, we kind of have to go with them. We kind of got to go with the flow, you know? I mean... You missed the dartboard, asshole. You hit the fucking thing over there. How rude. There's a lot of rude people in this place, I gotta tell you. You know, first they wouldn't let me sing to the crabs, and... Now, yeah. Now they're fucking playing darts with me. Okay, so let's see about this, yeah. Is this gonna do anything? A three. That's one of the... That's one of the passcodes. Yeah, three. Is there anything else? Is that just... Okay, I thought maybe it was going to flash other ones. Okay, so three. I think that's the only one it's going to give us for now. Let's see. Okay. Enter passcode. So, we got three, though. Okay, we have to interact with something else for another thing, don't we? Son of a bitch, okay. And we're at 64%. Let's grab some more oxygen and, uh, look around. I guess I've been screwing around, guys. I should've been looking for numbers. Although I kinda figured there'd be a file instead. Six. Yeah, I knew six was one of them, okay. So there's another one. So yeah, we're gonna have to find a bunch of numbers around our environment, is what it seems. So three, six, we need three more digits. Look around. Hey, I'm catching on, guys. I mean, I, I know it took like almost probably 10 minutes, but I'm figuring it out. Okay, there's nothing on there. Look around. More numbers. I doubt the number of darts matters. It would probably indicate that if it was. There's got to be some other file. The cosmos is within us. Strange. Okay, come on. Show me some more numbers. Show me some more numbers. We're basically playing the prices right down here. Is there anything on you? I don't think so. Is that a pill bottle? Did you... Did you take a little bit too many? Okay. Yeah, enough fucking around, Agony. Get with the program, man. But I hope everyone's having an amazing day. And oh no. Because it appears, yeah, it appears we've circled back around. Okay, I don't think we have to go back. Okay, I don't think we have to go back, but maybe we do. I haven't exactly tried. What's out here? 
Okay, no, it is a dead end out here, as you guys can tell. So yeah, we can't go back. My thought was maybe there was more um, numbers back that way. Maybe I should go this way. I'm gonna go back. I doubt things will change, but you know with how trippy the environment is, and how crazy things are, I wouldn't doubt if, uh, whoa, cuttlefish inside the water tank. Well, that water is, uh, incredibly disgusting. I wouldn't want to drink from that. Let's check the bookshelf. It doesn't look like there's nothing. There's a guitar here. Okay. Yeah, my thought is if we go this way, maybe things will change going up this way. Since the game is being strange like that, you know what I mean? Obviously, everything is doing what it can to screw with our heads. Oh, wait, is that a number? Look, there's like something there. Okay, no, that's... Okay, zero, okay, it is. Okay, I thought so. I thought so. Okay, so we got a zero now. Cool. I'm, I'm happy that I figured that one. Okay. So three, six, zero. We need two more. What's our oxygen like? 50%? Maybe we should grab that while we're down here. Or... Okay, so we have two more we need. We actually skipped one. Let's restore the O2. I don't want to forget and then get too low and then have to frantically race back. It's all right. We just need two more and we are golden. And honestly, I'm kind of wondering um, what's upstairs because if you guys remember, before we came down this way, there was an entirely, uh, well, yeah, there was a, a lift that would take you up. But yeah, there's two more numbers I've missed around here. Yeah, I was checking out that little poster over there. This is glass, it seems. I can't really bust through that. Okay. I know you're around here. We can't go back, so we can only... We can only go a different way. Ah, oh, five? Yeah, look, on the wrist. Five. Sweet. Okay, so we're at, we need one more after this. We're just about there. Not too complicated, just taking a moment. This ain't a complicated puzzle. Really, I've liked the puzzles they've had. So, okay, one more digit. Where have we not exactly looked? I'm guessing it's still kind of in here. Or something. Probably something about that little postcard. Like a woman and her baby. Or something. Okay, some more. We are an impossibility... Wait, yeah. We are an impossibility in an impossible universe. Very strange shit. Hey, what have I not looked at that is probably staring me in the fucking face? No. The amount of utensils in that cup does not matter, Agony. Hmm. There's something around. You know it, guys. Hell, maybe you guys have actually seen it. You guys have probably fucking seen it, and you're just like, dude, it's right over there. Come on, Agony. Come on, Agony. Bro, come on, man. Oh, fuck me. All right. But I will find it. I, I know I will find it. It's just going to take me a moment. We already checked there, and that's the zero. Hmm. Wish I could just stop and play some Rubik's Cube stuff. Okay, that does not matter. I wish that the amount of darts on this thing mattered, because that one would almost seem like one that would matter, but it doesn't. Okay, nothing up there. What about the lockers? I doubt it, but... Oh, wait, wait! One! Okay, it is in the lockers. Good, we found the last one. That only took a few moments, but we are fucking through. So let's fill this oxygen and get the hell out of here, guys. I'm actually kind of wondering, like, I'm thinking if evac is on the second floor, because that sign seemed to indicate like it was. Yeah, let's fill this up, so that way we're not worrying about it later on. Hell yeah, we're fucking ready to roll. Let's enter in that last digit and fucking go through the door. And boom, passcode is confirmed. 
Anybody, you know, waiting to greet me? No. Let's say server room. Okay, server room it is. So I'm guessing we actually probably needed to go this way to unlock something that's upstairs or something is my guess. There's gonna be another fucking guy behind me when I do this. Reset hazard level. Hazard doors unlocked. Awesome. And I don't exactly probably need O2, but I'm gonna do it anyways, and I doubt there's a reason to go back to this, but hey, no. For some reason, I feel like I should check that again. You saw terrible things. And even if you made it to the surface, you couldn't count on being rescued. I mean, I'd have lost my mind. Did you ever feel like you were losing it just a little? No. When they found me, I'd been floating on the surface for at least five hours. I talked with therapists and trauma experts for months. Said I was hiding the hurt. But it's not true. I made mistakes down there, yes, but did I lose my mind? No. No way. Now you're a liar, because you're totally hallucinating crap, man. Like, why you gotta lie to everybody, man? Tell them the truth. All right, so, um, I don't know how to say that name, damn it. Okin? Okay. Halima was determined to make her family proud. The first female rig manager I've encountered, maybe the best. And now here she is, knife in one hand, pills in the other. Heartbreaking. But there's an undeniable dignity in it, in, yeah, an undeniable dignity in accepting the inevitable refusing to bargain the youngest among us and she didn't try to run like a captain going down with the ship still i can't imagine any parent taking any pride in this kind of resolve not when it ends like this well let's just trek on let's not let the doom and gloom get to us right guys oh scuttling another crab wait Go in the bathroom. Go in the O. Oh. Well, the bathroom has become infested. It's become incredibly infested in a short amount of time. But what's this? Oh, flares. I guess there was no reason to go in here other than flares. Which is funny because I haven't even like used flares in the entire game. I probably should have, but it's whatever. Uh oh, that window's been busted. Yeah, there's crab out there. But he's on the outside, so I'm good. What's this room? Does this mean it's like a dorm or something? Oh, I can't even go in there. Oh, well. And that is a very strange... Looking, yeah, room down there. Another room we can't go into. Yeah, relaxation room. Once more, relaxation has been denied to us. But we're making good progress, so I don't mind at all. Terrible things. Oh, great. Fucking great. We're about to see some terrible fucking things, guys. Yeah, big, yeah. That is a weird... It's weird to see that all uh, messed up like... Okay, so yeah, we're back in this room. I see you watching me, fuckhead. I see you. So yeah, it's, uh... The cameras are going haywire now. Let's just grab this and go back out there, because I think now it's time to go up to the lift. So yeah, now we're finally going upstairs. I didn't know that we basically went around in a circle. Is this guy gonna get up and fuck with us? Screw off. Get out of here. Get out of our fucking way, jackass. Uh-oh. Do you hear that? That's like the ice thing. Ah, fuck off! Uh oh, I did not mean to fall down here. Not cool. Oh, uh, no! No! Bad guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. No, no, no! Screw yourself, Iceman! Yeah, I did not expect a chase sequence. Oh no, he's right there! Fuck! He got me, son of a bitch. Okay, so yeah, we have a chase sequence now. Damn it.
See, I told you it's never that simple, guys. Okay, so yeah, terrible things indeed. This guy wants to fucking turn us into a block of ice. You fucking prick. I'm trying to steer clear, game. It's telling me to steer clear right there. You see it? I was trying to. But he cut me off. So yeah, now it's gonna... I don't know how tricky this is gonna be, but yeah, we're gonna have to figure out a way around this guy. I had a feeling as soon as I heard, like, the ice cube clanging kind of sound that, uh... Mr. Freeze was gonna make another appearance. Fucking bastard. Go freeze the fish! Why can't you go freeze the damn fish? Damn punk. Yeah, let's go back in here and try this again. So yeah, we're gonna have to do some trial and error kind of guessing game stuff right now, guys. But I'm sure you don't mind. It's, uh, perfectly fine, I'm sure. Okay, so open that and then run. Can I open the door? Yeah, run! Down here. I gotta save that boost. Okay, he's right there, so... Behind us, boost away. He's gonna go there, so we need to go this way. I wish we could sprint or something. We're gonna have to go right now, because he's gonna go up that way. Boost up. So yeah, we basically gotta go the opposite direction of where he's coming. Oh, okay, turn around. Damn it, I hate this snap decision shit. Downstairs. Oh, is he going to appear below us? I hope he's not going to appear below us. He's right behind us. Which way is he coming now? Which way do we go? Damn it. Okay, he's going that way. He's going that way. He's going this way. He's coming in all directions. What do I do now? Oh, man. Just stand here. Go this way. Go this way, I'm guessing. This entire Ooh. experience is defined by the fact that you came back alone. For the record. Your story started <sighs> with 20 people, but ends with one. So when it comes to telling those stories, you're the only one who can. Yeah. There's a responsibility to get things right. For the record. Whew, okay, so we narrowly made it. So let's keep going. That's awesome. I'm I'm glad that uh that I was able to manage it. Yeah, really the game's uh not that difficult, which I don't mind. I mean, I don't need every game to be super challenging and shit. Okay. There's a cuttlefish. Let me see something. I haven't used the flares, so I wonder what we can do with the flares. This ice was not here before. Can I fire it. I can't remember how to fire it. Uh, who's, who's freezing me? We need to stay away from the ice, or what? Go towards the flare, cuttlefish. No, not me! Oh, you prick! Time for a fight, guys. I tried. I tried, but I gotta shank this son of a bitch. You know, I didn't think that whenever we were gonna play the, uh... When we were gonna play this, it was gonna turn into some prison yard shit. But that's exactly what it turned into. Some prison yard shank fest crap. You couldn't just go towards the flare, could ya? You rude, fucking, fluttering piece of crap. Okay, decoy octopus. Okay, he did go over there. Okay. So we need to get to that lift, I'm imagining. Let's just go to the lift. While he's distracted or something. Oh, is he behind us? He's totally behind us. Got him. Call the lift. Screw off. Out of the way. The lift's coming down, bitch. Hey! I am trying to scale the damn elevator, you punk-ass bitch! Get out of here. I'm the one that's high on the pecking order. Get it? Pecking? Because... Yeah, he had a beak. Stupid bitches. Stupid bitch had a fucking beak. That didn't mean shit. Dumb fucking cunts. Okay, there's a bunch of those things back there. Whew. Yeah, we're moving right along. I guess let's go to uh, 
where they're throwing us a party. Let's follow him. He seems to be helping us out, oddly enough. Yeah, I wonder what this is all supposed to mean. So, oddly enough, the, the apparition that I initially thought was bad has been kind of our beacon of hope and kind of shining a light through all this, leading us in the right direction. Yeah, let's keep going up to him. Now we're in some ice caverns. Unlimited thrust enabled. That is crazy. He's pointing that way. There's more ice people down here, isn't there? Uh, I'm guessing that those lights are bad. Yeah, they're bad. They froze me, I think, instantly. How awesome. See, I instantly uh, got stuck in place. But we will figure it out. Don't you people worry. We will figure this out. That's what Agony does. Or at least tries to do as I try to figure this out. Yeah, we have unlimited thrust down there, so I don't think we can exactly fly, but that'll definitely help in trying to keep away from it. I'm not sure if I should try to watch the pattern of the spotlights or just move. Yeah, hopefully we'll start right back there, I think. We'll have to dodge around in this ice cavern to get through this. Okay. So. I'm guessing we go upward in that way. What the hell's freezing me now? Well, that was weird. I just, like, instantly got frozen there. I'm wondering if you can't touch the ice. Is that what's going on? Because, um, oddly enough, uh, when I was in that room with the fucking cuttlefish, it kind of seemed like when I went close to the ice columns, that it was kind of freezing me. So I wonder if we're not even supposed to touch the ground. Maybe that's why it's, maybe that's why it's giving us the unlimited boost, is maybe we're not even supposed to touch the ground and I'm just an idiot. Maybe that was what it was instead of the lights. Oh well. Come on, load us in, and let's try again. It's a good thing I've had experience with games like Limbo and other ones where it's like trial and error, and you like really need to like figure th things out. And I don't know why there's a crab scuttering, because I can't hear any damn crab. I mean, not hear any, but see any crabs. Yeah, we probably totally can't touch the... Yeah, we totally can't touch the ground. And I think we have to dodge these if we can. I don't know how well I'll do, guys. I'm just gonna say. Okay, I'm about to run into one. Whew, okay. This is really cool change of pace, so I gotta say this is awesome. Don't touch the pipe. I feel like I'm piloting something, this is crazy. Uh-oh. On through here. I really love how the game changes things up like this. The game is consistently, at least for me, stayed fresh. That's for sure. Okay. I just gotta be careful not to try to touch the walls and stuff. Try to move this way. steam. Can I go through this? Because I think that's going to hurt us. Welcome back, Is this O... Yeah, O2? The grab? Well, I guess not. Whoa, we're like back towards the beginning, guys. 
Come on, do your grabby thing. What the? Rest in peace, Russ. Hey. You all right? Come on, let's get back to the house. Well, what's going on here? Okay, well... That is very, very strange. Well, we just appeared back in here. Welcome back to Open Air. I'm Emily Kaler. If you're just joining us, my guest is Kip Mattis, sole survivor of the Oceanova disaster. His first book, Hell or High Water, is a harrowing account of his ordeal. Earlier, we talked about the life aquatic, escaping the flooded habitat, and being lost on the seafloor inside a half-ton titanium diving suit. Wow. That's incredible. So yeah, this whole time was basically him on like a talk show recounting things. That is neat. That is very cool. That's a really cool explanation of... Kip, I know this might not be easy, but I'd like to talk about the end. Can you read that for us? Yeah. The list is getting shorter. The hatch opens with its usual reluctance, flooding the room with light. The pod is there. I'm going home. Tomorrow I'll be the sole survivor. But for now, I'm not alone. Man, I don't know whether to... I'm wondering how close to the end we actually are. So it looks like we're getting to the escape pod, everybody. The escape pod is here. Open how did you feel when you figured it out? At that point, and that close, I was running on fear. Oh my gosh, we're right here, guys. We are right fucking so here. So I saw another suit in the room, it's almost too much to process. Uh-oh. I couldn't believe that it was... Virgil? Is that you? Virgil made it. Just like me. How did you get... I thought everyone was... Only I'm locked inside the pod and he's locked out. Oh. Can you hear me? I can't stop the launch. There's no override. He's not coming back. Oh, God. I'm sorry. And that's on me. Oh, wow. So are you saying that if you did something differently, that Virgil would have lived? That's right. Until I saw him, fear in his eyes. I thought I was the only one. It was a bad call. This can't be happening. So yeah, we we're actually inside there. No, 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 no. Oh man. That's what it was all about. Holy shit. Oh, so now the door opens. What a bunch. You didn't kill him. Really? Who did? Bad luck? I'm responsible. Look, I'm up here talking with you. And he's still out there. Wow, that was... I kind of expected something... Along the lines of, you know, since he kept mentioning it, but that's really incredible. Overconsumption. Yeah, I'm not moving right now, guys. We're just following... So I wonder if that's supposed to be like Virgil's spirit or something. I 
I doubt there's other endings or something. I'm, I'm assuming right now that this is the ending we're watching. Oh, look, it's fogging up. <clears throat> wow. So yeah, guys, that was the end. That came out of nowhere. That's for sure. I... So yeah, we... I don't know if this means the entire time we were basically playing as Virgil. While the narration was uh, the guy who made it out. Or what exactly. Or if, you know, the whole time it was us and at the end there the perspective switched to show what kind of happened. I'm not entirely sure. But that is crazy if we were playing as Virgil the whole time. What's crazy about it is like showing all of the effort that somebody went through to escape and make it just for the very end to to get screwed over like that. Like imagine being in a survival situation like that. Putting all that effort, like, going through all that stuff. And then thinking you're going to make it, and then at the very end, when you're about to make it and get out and be rescued, boom, it's just over, and there's nothing you can do, and you're just... That is, like, the definition of horror there, you know what I mean? That's just crazy. And then being trapped down in the depths like this, no escape, nothing, just... That's incredible. That that game was really cool. I mean, it was pretty short, but to me, the the thing that excelled about it was the atmosphere. The gameplay itself and, like, the atmosphere was uh, very believable. You know, the sound design was just, like, in your face and everything. You know, everything was immersive. Yeah, he basically wandered till he ran out of air and stuff. Kip, it's been more than a year since all this happened. You wrote a book and told your story. Are you ready to be done? Yeah, yeah. It's time to move on. Get myself working again. Kip Mattis, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Thanks for having me, Emily. Yeah, that was cool. That was... Database updated. Open air unlocked. I wonder if that means uh, infinite air or something if, if I play the game again. At least I'm guessing that's what that means. Let's see if it takes us. Okay, so... Oh! Okay. So I'm wondering exactly... Okay, so it looks like here, yeah. There's some new files to check out, stuff like that. In this open air thing. So, what I guess I'll do is I'll end the episode now because we're actually running over our time. But I will come back, I think, for another final episode in order to explore these files here and to check out this open air thing because this might be the... Uh, I don't know if that just replays the, uh, the sound bites, the clips from, you know, that talk show kind of thing or what exactly. But I guess we'll come find out, guys, if you want to see what these extra files and whatever could be found on there. But yeah, that's basically the end of this Let's Play. But like I said, I'm coming back. I'll check these things out and then that will be the final kind of thing because uh, it's not exactly like, you know, a bonus... Uh, what do you call it, damn it? Like I've done before, like it's not exactly like a uh, concept art thing or something, but for anybody else who's interested, because I am, we will investigate these things that have just been unlocked to see what else little things are here for us. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that journey. That was quite a crazy twist kind of ending to it, but I really liked it and it was quite fitting. It was uh, a really dark ending, you know what I mean? Like a bittersweet, like, you know, we found out that we technically made it, but at the expense of somebody else. So yeah, a bittersweet, but really fitting, really cool ending to this crazy experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, stay tuned. I'll be back for one final episode. 
to explore these new things that we have just unlocked after the game's been completed. And I hope you're all having an amazing, wonderful day. I will see you guys next time. Agony333 signing out. Have a fantastic one, folks. Peace.